people. It's personal between me and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. Okay. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire probably presents something the boxing game's been missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, I wanted to take this time to talk about what was an amazing, an absolutely amazing performance from Isaac Chamberlain. For those that know, and for those that don't know, let me be the first to inform you if you don't know. Isaac Chamberlain had a fight with former world title challenger Dylan Prazovic, the same Dylan Prazovic who in his last fight in September fought on the Anthony Joshua versus Usyk undercard against Lawrence Coley. Lawrence Coley stopped Prazovic in three rounds, made a routine title defense. Now, this fight was, in my humble opinion, and I don't, I don't even think it's an opinion, I would say it's a fact, um, because really Isaac's been fighting a bunch of no-hopers with nothing on the line uh, since he came back and started getting active again. This was the most important fight of Isaac Chamberlain's career um, since the Lawrence Coley fight uh, because the IBF International Cruiserweight title is on the line. It was It's a belt that if you win it, it gets you ranking position. It, it, it positions you for bigger and better things. And by getting this belt, you know, it's it's very good for the fighter. It's, good, it's advantageous for the fighter and things like that. So with that being said and with that being established here on True School Sports, you know, Coley, when he fought Prazovic, he got him out of there in three rounds, but you got to call a spade a spade. You got to call things for how they are. Isaac Chamberlain has outdone in this in this scenario. Isaac Chamberlain has outdone Lawrence Coley, and he's got him out of there in one round. And not only did he get him, get him out of there in one round, he got him out of there with a one punch body shot, a left hook to the body that absolutely dropped Prazovic and destroyed all his hopes and dreams of uh, progressing his boxing career to the next level. Um, so, hell, a great performance. You know, I would say right now, this is probably the high point of Isaac's career. And um, good on him because this is a guy that, you know, a lot of times I, I know from just being around boxing, being around people, being around promoters, being around matchmakers, being around managers. I know how they are. I know how fickle the boxing game can be and how it is. And I saw, it on, I've seen it on display with Isaac Chamberlain more so than most fighters. I mean, three years ago, Three four, three, four years ago, this is a guy that was being talked about all over the British boxing scene as one of the next big prospects, as one of the next uh, young uh, British fighters that will become world champion. He loses one fight to Lawrence Coley. Everybody writes him off. You know, Eddie Hearn hit him part ways. And then, you know, I met Isaac. I met Isaac Chamberlain in 2019 when he came down here to my when he came to Miami and he was training with Jorge Rubio, and 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 he was going through it. You know, he was staying in apartments and hostels all over South Florida, from from as south as Hialeah to as north of my, as my hometown, to as north as my hometown of Dania Beach. You know, he was everywhere, and he, and he was just trying to find himself. He was trying to reinvent himself. He was trying to become a better fighter and a better man. And credit to him because that all, all the, that, that year of 2019 where he didn't get no fights, his, no, nobody seemed to really care about Isaac Chamberlain. Um, things were happening for Isaac Chamberlain. The sky was seemingly falling. That year is, is shaping him and molding him for, for what I believe is going to be a monstrous 2022 because this is not the same Isaac Chamberlain who, when he fought Wadi Camacho and Luke Watkins and Lawrence Coley, didn't punch through the target. This isn't the, this isn't the Isaac Chamberlain pre man strength. This is a different Isaac Chamberlain. This is a slicker Isaac Chamberlain. This is an Isaac Chamberlain with a better jab. This is an Isaac Chamberlain that can punch through the target. This is an Isaac Chamberlain that will um, and can break you down to the body. This is an Isaac Chamberlain that I believe you know he's fifteen fights into his career. He's becoming uh, a complete fighter before our very eyes. And uh, realistically, I think he's a, he's one fight. He's one possibly two fights away from a world title shot and i hold true to my reservations i i've always thought that isaac chamberlain had the goods to become a world champion um i had never wavered on that before today um i'm definitely not wavering on it now that i've seen what i'm seeing you know um, credit to his new team um, um coach bobby and all of them they're doing a great job with isaac because this is a guy that um uh, I'm seeing him not just throw punches, but I'm really seeing him thinking there. I'm seeing him set his shots, but I'm seeing him uh, use throwaway punches to set up the big punch after. I'm seeing Isaac Chamberlain uh, uh, throw different types of jabs. I'm seeing Isaac Chamberlain 
uh, constantly trying to change the position of his head when he's, when he's on the inside to set up the next punch. I'm seeing a more matured fighter. And um, that's why when a fighter loses early in their career, you can never write them off because you just don't know how they're going to develop. You know, a lot of people like to use Canelo as an example. Um, he's been a good example of that. Um, Isaac Chamberlain, I think, is going to be another example of that because he will be, in my opinion, save the date, save this video, save this clip. He will be Cruiserweight champion, you know? Um, I don't care who's at Cruiserweight. I, I, I think with the way he's developing, he's going to be a problem for any Cruiserweight in the world uh, because this is a guy who, even before he lost to a Cole, if you go look at the guys he was in the gym sparring, like the like who he got work in the gym with when he was a, a, young, a younger prospect, you know, this is a guy that did a whole training camps with Deontay Wilder, um, you know, Alexander Usyk, you know, guys like that. So when you're surrounding yourself with guys like that, then you go through what he went through in 2019 where he had no promoter. He, made, he was made a bunch of promises by Greg Cohen Promotions. That kind of fall, fall, fell through. The Hoy Rubio situation didn't work out. Um, a lot of things didn't work out around that time. But God has a plan for everybody. Isaac stayed 10 toes down. And credit to him, man. Just just a full credit to him because not, I, and I'm not even being biased or anything as his friend. If Even if I wasn't his friend. I'm really enjoying seeing him, watching him fight. Like, I really am. A lot of times I criticize some of these British fighters because sometimes with the textbook British style, it's very proper. It's very one-two, um, down the middle, no dexterity to the punches, no room for creativity. Um, too by the book, too amateurish. And I've criticized a lot of these uh, lower-level British fighters for that problem. But... With Isaac Chamberlain, you're not seeing that. You're seeing a guy that that is is doing all the things that you want from a fighter. He's 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 giving you the fundamentals, but he's also blending his athleticism with it. He's also showing a bit of a mean streak in there, and um, that's one thing that Isaac, you know, sometimes in the gym, a couple years ago when I'd watch him spar, he look a bit like a days ago in there, and sometimes it would look like he he lacked a killer instinct, and sometimes in previous fights. That's been an issue of his. They, they, you know, I remember when he fought Wadi Camacho and Russ Henshaw and these guys early in his career. This was a, a criticism of him that he was good, but he wasn't showing that extra bit of quality. And some people question his killer instinct. You know, he's a very nice guy outside the ring. So then they, they, then they, then they, then they question. You know, well, do, does he really have the killer instinct to be a top level fighter? But now that ain't the issue. He's stopping everybody and their mother, um, and he's doing it better than some guys who have world titles like Lawrence Coley. So. Just an amazing, an amazing performance for him. It's what the doctor ordered. He's now the IBF International Cruiserweight uh, Champion. So now um, he's conquered the, uh, the domestic scene. He's now knocking on the door of that world level. Um, and the beautiful thing for Isaac is that his weight class, a lot of the world level guys are right there in the UK. You know, you, obviously you got guys like a Coley, but, you know, aside from him, you got guys like Chris Billum Smith, uh, Jack Massey. Uh, Richard Riakpo. There's about three opponents they could pick from. You could just pick whoever you want. Right there in the UK. And they're, and they're going to be good fights. There'll be fights that impact boxing at the world level in the cruiserweight division. And there'll be fights that you, you could have right there in the UK that I think would separate who's who, fact from fiction. I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to tell you this. All respect to Chris Bill and Smith. All respect to to Jack Massey, all respect to the brother Richard Riakpo. But I'm going to tell you this, when it comes to these British cruiserweights, especially with the way I see Isaac developing, this ain't even being biased. I just think when you look at fighters, you always want fighters to test themselves. He's done that in the gym probably more so than most fighters in this weight class, let alone the guys from England. He's done it in the ring against a guy like Lawrence Acoli. He's done it at the, at the British level, and he's really, he, he's really beginning to find himself who he is, not just in the boxing ring, but in life. And and sometimes, a lot of times, fighters, when they get in the ring, art imitates life. You box how you fight. Your your boxing style, what's going on in that ring, can can be a reflection of what's going on internally and in your life. And I feel like that that both true for Isaac Chamberlain. So um, I'm, I'm taking him against the... When it comes to the British cruiserweights, I'm taking him against the field, including React Poe, Massey, uh, Chris Bill Smith, um... I just think with the way he's fighting and developing, he's he's beginning to develop the extra gear that you need at that world class level, and um, that's just what it is. So you guys, uh, 
You guys, uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Isaac Chamberlain stops Dylan Prasovic in one round, faster than Lawrence Coley, and he is here. The boxing game try to break Isaac Chamberlain, but, you know, real Gs don't bend. They don't break. They just get better. And uh, Isaac Chamberlain, um, he's developing into a killer fight by fight. And, and if you're a cruiserweight who's got a belt, if you're a cruiserweight who's challenging for belts, who's a top contender, anything, come 2022, you know, but, but uh, you you bet you best have your mouthpiece ready and you best have your pen ready to sign a contract because you you're gonna have to see Isaac Chamberlain in this weight class if you want to move forward in your career because he's gonna be a factor in the division. So you guys, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Make sure you take the time to subscribe and like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me. But I'm just a kid from Daniel. So until next time, take care, guys. Thank you for watching another video on True School Sports, the home of boxing. If you made it this far, do me a favor and do yourself a damn favor. Hit that subscribe button and surely you will not be disappointed. You know, True School Sports bringing you the latest and greatest, the untouchable, you know, boxing content, interviews, news videos, breakdowns, live fight reaction extravaganza. We've got a great community of, of people here. Boxing fans all over the world from America to the UK to Australia and on and on and on. So join the empire today. Hit that subscribe button. Take care and God bless.